Farana vows to ensure soldiers arrested by Governor Sonwulu for violating traffic is prosecuted. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. Roman rights lawyer Femi Falana has vowed to the vowed to ensure that the soldier who was arrested by the Lagos State Governor Bajidi Songwulu over a traffic offence is prosecuted. The Post reported on Tuesday that someone arrested some men on motorbikes playing plying one way along Lagos Ibadan, Lagos Badagui rather, Lagos Badagui Expressway. The governor was on his way to the inauguration of the Femi Gwajabiamla's conference center at Ojo campus of Lagos State University, a lasso, when the incident occurred on Tuesday. One of the offenders might have thought he would be freed when he identified himself as a soldier, but the governor ordered the security men to lock him up for that reason. While being taken away by security operatives, someone said, put him there, let your father come and rescue you. And Falana, who appeared on channel television on Wednesday, noted that the man, that the men of the armed forces in the country often see themselves as above the law. In our country, men of the armed forces believe as if we are still under the military dictatorship and that they are above the law, he said. We are even lucky there was no unfortunate incident. Last year, August, some politician, some policemen were controlling traffic around the jaw. And because vehicles were stopped, soldiers came out of one vehicle and passed on one of the police officers and an inspector was killed in the process. Others were injured and detained in the barrack. Even to release the soldiers for investigation was problematic. It was the same thing in the case of Wadume, where a captain led soldiers to attack three policemen and killed them who had come to arrest a very dangerous criminal. And what happened? Soldiers were even charged, but the former attorney general Malami withdrew the case from the court that the soldiers will try them. These guys have been promoted. So you must run a country where there is rule of law and there, may, is, there must be equality before the law. And I'm going to ensure that we get the human rights community to pressure the Lagos State government to have their soldiers tried. Now, people are not going to see this. To me, oh, if you misbehave, bear the consequences of your action. You understand the fact that you are actually, you know, say you did do the wrong thing. And then now you can't see saying a governor. The person no go tell me saying no saying a Lagos State governor. The thing is, I don't care what you do. Okay? Someone is someone who you don't know the, you don't know the power someone who wins in Lagos. He is the if he talk say this thing will happen, it will happen. That soldier maybe it can say it can say this no on normal grounds anything we talk now it will happen. You are driving traffic. If this, if you are in a lawful country, we are to prosecute you for such. She will come and say, come open mass, you will say you will be a soldier. Who cares? Who cares to know? In fact, you go even behind the fact that you be a soldier because you don't commit offense. But this one, you did talk and you did for waiting as in the country red handed. You still come and they talk and say you be a soldier. Who does it? As you tell yourself, the soldier made in the shiver, let them now be scared. Come on now. It's the, the, the guy, the guy mess up. I don't care. In Siena country, safe gone. As far as say you did for front of a, a was it called governor? Or you did, you did for front of you, you, you know anything can happen. You go even, you know, go even want me to know, say, you get where the rush go. And they tell you, you don't even want them to know. My other son, please. Always also vow to persecute those stealing our Nigerian money. The looting is too much. Unfortunately, I don't expect a human rights lawyer involved in anarchy in the country with a harsh looting of natural resources by elites, which him can offer to persecute them because soldier is nobody. Good talk, but this is just a drop of water out of the problem facing our nation. What step have you took? I'm talking about talking about Taking about our politicians mistake or all the way they have been diverting our resources money. But Falana used to come outside and speak now. Now what for now? Falana used to come out to speak. So which one is which one have you taken? See, Nigerians we are really, really forgetful. I they tell you. Falana has come out to speak anytime it is not right. If you do it in no good, Falana will come outside and speak. If you do the one we good do, Falana will come outside and speak. 
All right. But my question is, don't government officials themselves flout the rules by also driving against traffic? What Governor Samuel is doing is that it is wrong. What's in no day? Okay, no day, okay. If we're in a lawful country, eh, and he says, oh, somebody is in, so, so, and so, you can easily come out and say, okay, let's use this one. Save your breath, the soldier was a passenger on the bike and not the rider. I didn't hear him see anything on the video of the governor's convoy doing same some time ago. Tough. Though I don't support breaking of law or driving against traffic, but soldiers should be given their due respect. After all, the politicians, including the civil governor, need them to beef up security in the state, so let them breathe. After all, their lifespan is very short with the current terrorist attack everywhere in the country. Everywhere in the country. Do we have an idea of what last minute soldier in war from set their eyes on their family? Now, if people are not getting the gist, please don't even don't twist this thing. To me, if the guy was was a court, if the guy was um in this country anyway, our politicians say go then get the bigger then get the bigger blame because had they been say them themselves, then they follow the right thing. Then citizens will it will be easier. They are going to be setting a very good example. Yes, now. Had they been yes, then they follow the right thing. The soldier said, "Go don't even know say ah." As far as the governor did, your um, I just oh guy go turn no. I don't want to enter inside these people' problem. You understand? But you no, know, politicians they themselves they flout others. They also flout others. Like I said, if the soldier know your uniform, you get me, and this thing happen. Maybe do not even say anything. It is even going to be better. Reason being, you did for inside uniform, you did flowers on us. Now you're supposed to even they tell people. Now, he, or, now him now. Supposed to come outside, they tell people, see what they do, then they, then they create, then they cause more traffic. You understand? But this one, the can they try to move. You can't say you did, you be so down. To me, the you be so down, you feel me many, many things. If he be many, many things, if he be, if he be, if he be, if he be, if he be a soldier or guy, so that you go see me, you no go talk, say so you know, sister, be soldier. A lot of things are involved in this thing. I don't understand whether you understand me. You understand where I'm coming from? <laughs> not like I'm saying, I'm not saying don't give soldiers the dues, but some of them, if you see how reckless, just like if you read, listen to the write up, you will see how reckless some of them behave. They behave recklessly, sincerely. If they want to talk about the welfare of soldiers, we'll talk about the welfare of soldiers. But this one around, this does not have to do with the welfare. This has to do with, you are wrong. You know you are wrong. And you are coming out to say you are a soldier. So, to San Wolu, you are above the law. Which is not okay. Alright, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.